Hi. Hi everyone, welcome to our 2022 Spring Summer Season Preview. I'm Fel. I'm Eugene. And I look after PR at Uniqlo Singapore. Mm. So what we're going to do today, we're actually at Sentosa. Ooh, nice. And um, we're going to bring you an exclusive first look mm. at our Spring Summer Collection, which will be in stores over the next couple of months. So this is usually a buy-invite only closed-door event. But today, we're going to give you guys a first peek at what we have lined up. Oh, I used to remember when I was a fashion editor and then we will go on press days around the world. I remember London being one of the highlights of all the Uniqlo press days. You got to see all the cool tech that it fuse into yeah. the clothing. So I'm really excited for you guys to see this today as well. Yeah, and mm. um, we have a very special guest with us today. I'm very excited because he is a fashion expert. Um, and I heard <laughs> he styled a few celebrities as well. Um, I heard he styled Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> so we have none other than Eugene. Uh, Thank you for joining Eugene. us today. Hi, okay, so like, yeah, as well say, I'm a fashion editor and fashion stylist. I have styled Chris Hemsworth. He's super handsome, right? But other than that, <laughs> other than that I also styled people like Diplo. But like, to me, like, what sparks me the most joy is styling the everyday people of Singapore. Like, seeing them in their most elevated form, like, it just brings me joy, right? And I love clothes, so what better than like, this event here today? Yeah, mm. that's right. And mm. along with him, so I'll be your product genius for today, yeah. taking you through all of Uniqlo's latest tech and giving you all the lowdown on the product details. So uh, let's keep a lookout mm. for that. And you don't want to go anywhere, so stay till the end because we're going to do a grand giveaway Ooh. prize. You're oh, going to be watching. able to, yeah. Please try to win the prize, then give it to me. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Okay, yeah, it doesn't work. We're going to give everyone a chance. Try, try, try. So okay. we're going to have a Uniqlo gift vouchers mm -hmm. as well as a brand new Uniqlo outfit so you can get ready your Chinese New Year OOTD since Ooh. CNY is just around the corner. Okay. So make sure you stay till the end. So without further ado, let's talk a bit about, since you mentioned mm. what sparks joy for you, yeah. we're looking today at the joy of clothing, yeah. which is our season concept for mm. our spring summer collection mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I think um, what sparks joy for me is yeah. um, when you wear clothes how they can change the way you feel mm. I really like how when you look at someone who is wearing like a yellow or like a brighter red kind of color yeah. it just I don't know it just makes a smile to my face that's true I feel like it has this uh, uplifting effect you know like I know a lot of my peeps who are work in fashion like to wear black but maybe if we wear a bit more color we might feel a bit happier so pro tip guys, wear more colours. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and speaking of colours, mm. we're looking now at like uh, the first theme which is joy of imagination. Yeah. And when it comes to imagination, imagine the way colours can change the way you feel, right? Mm. Also looking at like an artist palette yeah. and like all the different colours that you can explore. And we're looking at like cleaner, more tailored kind of apparels mm. that will take you through work, leisure environments and also the functional beauty of these kind oh, of pieces. You want to show us some? Alright, let's hop over and check out what's new. All right. So over here... Um, Eugene, do you know what's the Pantone colour of the year? Oh, Pantone colour of the year. If I were to venture a guess, it would be very peri. And oh. like, yeah. So very peri is like, it's a fusion of the calm and stability of blue with the vibrant and energetic viol um, not viol vigour of red. So fusing it together, you get this very nice purplish tone, which they call very peri, which you can see in different shades over here, right? Like in the first thing, uh, one of the highlights to me is this, this is the rayon uh, dolman sleeve mm. blouse. So yeah. rayon has always been like quite popular for us because it's wrinkle resistant. Yeah. Um, it's also very easy and light to wear. Mm. So like Eugene mentioned, like the dolman sleeve, there's yeah. no like seams, right? Yeah, I like it because like it almost seems like it's cut out of one piece of fabric. You don't see any seams over here. And I, I like things that are crease resistant because like in my line of work, you can move quite a bit and you don't want to look too creasy as well. So I think like, it's quite a nice piece to add to your wardrobe. Yeah. Right. And okay, what else have we got? So we right. have oh, this beautiful pleated skirt. Mm. I don't know about you, but I have a thing for pleats. So yeah. those girls out there, if you like, like a really nice flowy skirt, mm. we've updated our design now so you can see that it goes from narrow pleats to wider pleats. Mm. And so, how does that I, yeah, change your... But what I feel like is really smart that Uniqlo did, right? Even though it's a pleated skirt, what they have is like more thinner pleats at the top. So it's almost like it gives like a more slim silhouette and then it flares out at the bottom. So it's almost like an A-line skirt that it just flares out. But then they worked it, they worked this illusion, beautiful illusion, right? With like playing with the different sides of the piece. So I thought that's really quite smart. Yeah, and we also have that in pink over here. So very, very gorgeous colours mm. for spring, summer. 
Over here, so I don't know if you know, but um, 3D Knit yeah. is a very popular fabrication for us. Yeah. And um, we use that on our women's items, oh. like our 3D Knit sweaters. But this time, this is actually a men's item that mm. we put the 3D Knit fabrication on, the crew neck sweater. Um, so this is really something that's quite new for us. Yeah. What I do think, you think? I think it's cool, right? Because it's almost like that uh, that blouse that we seen earlier. There's almost like no seams. It's almost like a one big piece of knit that they made. And plus, like they three D printed a man's body and then they created this knit that is suited for it. So it's almost like bespoke, but it's not. But it's as close almost. as you can, almost. It's almost. as close as you can get. As close as you yeah. get. Yeah. That's right. right. Um, and then also for a suit setup, so you know um, we have this uh, ultralight blazer and pants as well. Mm. So this is something that's very good for like a cleaner kind of look. Yeah. Did it used to be called something else? It used to be called the kando ah. jacket. Yeah, so, so that uh, kando means like gantong. So it's how you uh, feel when you wear something and it's like a wow, this, this jacket is so light. I feel very gantong that you have me here today. <laughs> <laughs> I am very happy to have Eugene yeah. here too. Yeah. So shall we um, move on to the next okay. section and take a look at what other joys can explore? Um, I'm really feeling it with the beach and seaside environment. And you know, now that we're in Sentosa, right? Yeah. This is like your way of a mini getaway. Mm. Um, but if you could travel somewhere, what's your next travel destination? I think after being in Singapore and then urban landscape for so long, I think going to a beach like Maldives would be quite nice. To is just it just because we're in Sentosa, that's why you're saying that? <laughs> Like, it'd be quite nice. I mean, like, okay, if it's not raining right now, I would wish that we could do it on the beach, but no, I'm just kidding, it'd be too hot. It'd be too hot, right? But, like, I think a nice beach holiday would be quite nice. But right? actually, Maldives does sound pretty it sound, wonderful. It and good, that's right? quite apt for our next theme, which is the joy of the sun and seaside, mm. which we have over here, which um, really talks about, you know, when you instantly feel inspired by having a summer holiday and we're looking at um, very natural fabrics. So we have an expanded lineup for our linen collection okay. and we also have a softer, flowier kind of materials. Yeah. So let's look at maybe our premium linen oh. uh, lineup. So, so nice. this is this our premium, premium linen long sleeve uh, shirt for men's and we have it in a variety of colors too. Okay, quick, quick question. What makes it premium linen? It's premium linen because it's made of 100% linen. Mm. Uh, so it's like a European linen. It's like the finest linen in the world. Oh, wow. And um, it's because the fibers are longer. Mm. So that means it catches the colors more easily. Oh. And that is why we're able to fabricate so many different colors of this shirt. I think it's cool that like, it's more than just your usual idea of what linen is, which is like your more earthy tones, your whites or your blacks. So I think like, if you want to jazz it up, like your linen wear, I think like, that would be pretty cool. Also, fun fact, linen is one of the first few fabrics that like, the humans invented to keep ourselves cool. So like, it's perfect for the beach holiday because like, you know, compared to it's natural, it's light, and it's, like, it's less, you don't feel so hot all the time. So I think it's pretty nice, right? Yeah, hmm. and I think I think this is something that people also get worried about. Like, if yeah. they are someone that sweats easily, yeah. right? Like, is this a concern? Will it seep through and show? So I have a very simple solution. If you're worried about sweating, ah. Uniqlo Arism. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, right? I, I did not pay him to say that. <laughs> no, no, you can build this universe where like it solves your problem, right? It's like that, is, you, that is very true. Yeah, right, yeah, it yeah, really yeah. does change right. change the way it is. And and I mean like this is also such a breezy fabric. I don't mm. think this is something that you would sweat a lot in yeah. to begin with. Yeah, but if you if you are worried, like Arism solves your problem, right? All right, All right, let's take a look at some of the other um, linen items that we have over here. Mm. So we also have for females this gorgeous new uh, linen sleeveless yeah. blouse and you can also wear that as a set mm. with the linen shorts. Yeah. So um, this one is the striped one but we also have it in solid colours. Mm. So you, uh, you can choose like different ways to mix and match it. Mm. What would you recommend? I think, first of all, like, fun facts about like, stripes, right? When, if you want to look a bit slimmer, like, vertical lines work better, but like, if you want to look slightly bigger, like, horizontal stripes work. So I think like, it depends on the kind of like, effect that you want to go for, because a lot of things when it comes to styling is about creating an illusion. Yeah. It's about what, what you want to highlight and what you want to conceal. So let's say if I, I want to look a bit slimmer on the beach, I would probably pick vertical stripes. Maybe not this top, it'd be a bit tight for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I cannot <laughs> 
<laughs> but like I might, I I would probably go with vertical stripes. Yeah, if yeah. I have to wear. If you if you yeah. were to wear, yeah. okay. But like if I to go to answer your question about these trousers, I think a white top here will be. Yeah, cool. Yeah, actually something else that you could pair it with. Yeah. I think this could be quite cool. We have this new cotton yep. shirring sleeveless blouse as mm. well that you could pair this with. And what's cool about this is that it comes with uh, two adjustable buttons here. So you can choose the different lengths to uh, wear this. So then you don't have to worry about like the armhole being too wide or anything. Mm. Great perk. Nice. Oh, you know what I see that on this rack is quite interesting as well? Yeah. What? Is this cardigan? Ooh! Right, so normally cardigans is not something that you think of when it comes to a beach holiday. But then like, the way it's being knitted is so wide, right, that it actually allows a lot of air through. You can see right here. So I think, I think it's cool when you juxtapose or like, you bring an idea that like, something is not meant to be worn to the beach, but is made in such a way that you can increase like, the styling possibilities. Uh. So, yeah. really looking forward to this item. And especially paired with the bra top inside, I think this like, pairs perfectly. Mm. So yeah, keep a lookout for this. This is coming soon in store. So you guys are the first ones to see this. Mm. Um, very exciting one. So yeah. shall we move on to the... Oh. oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, what? So like, okay, we talk about giveaways uh. earlier, right? You must give them a chance to win Oh, one, yeah, right? sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I was too excited to I mean, like, they just move listen to, to our, like, theme. mini lecture, you know, like, you gotta give them something to so look forward. So fast they had something to win. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell us how it's going to work. So what's going to happen is we're going to ask you a question. You're mm. going to have 30 seconds to answer it. Mm. And our community managers behind the scenes will pick three lucky winners Ooh. to win okay. $20 Uniqlo gift vouchers. Okay, so what is the question? So what is the question? <laughs> the question is premium linen yeah. is made of 100% linen. True or false? Ooh. So it's 100% premium linen. Is it made out of 100% linen? Is that your question? Yeah. Okay, true or false? True or false. Answer. 30 seconds starts now. Oh. Type your answers in the comments down below. Let's see what, let's see see what people on. are saying. Oh. NRL, S, Y, R, F, N, okay, I, I want to win. Yes, you got to type the right answer and then you get to win. Okay, I do feel like it's kind of a trick question because you say it's 100% linen. Is this a trick question? Is it a trick hey, question? Maybe it's not 100%. Like, I don't, I don't know. You sure? I don't know, I don't know Eugene, maybe you... I don't know, like, it says 100% linen, so like, you know when someone says it's 100% true, I'm not sure is it 100% true or not. So, do, do we have some... Oh, guys? oh, I, time is up, time is up. Okay. Has, uh, oh, I see that a lot of people have gotten the oh, right good. answer, so you want to reveal the answer, Eugene, so it's premium linen, 100% linen. Uh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it's true, right? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so that's, that's the correct answer. Congratulations mm. to our winners. Uh, look out for the pinned comments down below. Our community mm. managers will pick three winners. Mm. And then all you got to do is just drop us a DM after this to redeem your prize. Alright, so we are two pillars down. We did Joy of Sun and Sea and Imagination. What so what other mean? joys are we exploring yeah. today? Yeah. Um, uh, something that I think has been increasingly popular is outdoor activities. Mm. You know, because COVID like keeps us at home all the time. You want to like yeah. explore a bit outdoors and like mm. see what's what's new for us. What what's your favorite outdoor activity? My favorite outdoor activity is hiking because like to me when I go for rackies, like to me like. It's almost like a hike. We go to like weird places, like to try and find locations that has never been seen before in Singapore. So like, it's always a fun adventure, like the pre-shoot process where we go to different parts of Singapore and then treat it as a form of exercise. Uh. It's always fun. Yeah. Okay. And After this, tell me some of these hidden places because I'm looking to explore. No, never. <laughs> <laughs> It's only for my shoes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later, I'll tell you later. Alright. Okay, so, but, but you know what's great for the outdoors? Yeah. Is some of these items that we have on the rack mm. over here. So you see a lot of like beautiful colours. Maybe you can tell us what you want to see and we can pull it out for you also if you yeah. comment down below and let us know. But mm. maybe we'll just get the ball rolling and show you mm. our new Arizam uh, leggings as yeah. well as biker shorts. Mm. So, I mean... You know they are not new, but what is new is updated design. Yeah. It comes with two side pockets now. So convenient. You know I love pockets. Mm. Um, it's great if you want to just like slot your phone in or your bank cards, anything. And you don't have to like carry it if you're going like jogging or walking and all mm. that. What and actually also, I hear a lot of my female friends telling me is that when they choose a garment, like the most important check is whether they have pockets. So this definitely passed the test. Uh. Right. You de like I thought like, you never think like joggers or like so tights is something that you have pockets, so I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah. 
So it's the same for the leggings as well, comes with the pockets. We I also hear this rumour that I need you to, to check with you. Oh I no, heard, what? <laughs> it's made of a quite a sustainable material, is that true or false? Yes, okay. that is true. So um, we're moving towards uh, using more sustainable uh, fabrication to make our items. So this is made using recycled PET bottles. Oh, And including, um, yeah, this new pocketable parka mm -hmm. over here, which comes with like a cloudy sort of tie-dye kind of pattern. Mm. We have this in pink and blue and it, the best part is it's pocketable. Yeah. Which means you can put it in a small pouch and then just ah. pack it and go. So very, very umbrella. light. Yeah. No more umbrellas. Yeah, right. so there's like, there's like a hoodie as well. So yeah, you don't have to worry about getting caught in the rain. Very nice. Great. So you don't have to worry about getting caught in the rain and look stylish at the same time? Exactly. Sounds like a win-win. Sounds like a win-win, yeah. right? You got that. Uh, what else catches your eye on this rack? Yeah. Is there anything you guys want to see? Let us know. I see. Love pocket, super comfy too. Yes, we agree with you, DDD. <laughs> so wait, I know there is more to the, uh, the joy of landscape, right? Yeah. That's right. You gonna show it to us or you wanna keep them in suspense? Which one do you want? Uh, Alright, let's let's pick out one more item to show them. Maybe we'll we'll talk about the sweat pullover hoodie mm. for men. Yeah. So actually what we've done is updated some of these colours. So um they're really genderless now. I think this mm. is great for like couple styling. Yeah. Or like, you know, girlfriends, if you want to see a boyfriend's sweatshirt. <laughs> this is like, you know, the ultimate product. And um, what is new is we've updated the material. So it's slightly thicker, mm. softer, and more comfortable. Oh, that's cool. Now. Right. As if it isn't soft enough already. I mean, I, I wish you could touch it. Like, I wish I could wear how it How does right it now. feel? Describe how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, like, I don't want to be generic. If I say it's soft, it's very plush. Oh. Yeah, it's plush. Yeah, it feels like. Uh, so you're touching like pillows or like. like yeah, but I wouldn't like recommend you to wear this while you work from home because you might fall asleep, and then your boss would be like, "Hmm, Eugene, where are you?" Yeah. So, but. So, so Noah, my art says colors are pretty but hard to wear in Singapore. Maybe Eugene, you want to give some tips on on dressing with like such colors. So, so I think when it comes to dressing for colors, right, the number one tip is to pick a tone that is opposite to your natural skin tone. Right. Mm. So I think that's that's my biggest tip, right? You, I, cause I also like juxtaposition when it comes to like styling. So for example, someone like Fel, who is mm. quite fair, but has like a slightly warmer undertone, I will pick like a more cool color. Maybe something like like a blue or like a blue or like an indigo. Ooh, ooh, oh. okay. So, so speaking of indigo, yep. we have a new lineup. We're very excited to showcase this. Mm. It is the Uniform Blue Collection, and this is coming in stores next month. Mm. So, what we've got as part of this is this indigo t shirt, yep. indigo uh, sweatshirt, mm -hmm. as well as the cardigan. So all of these, right, um, what makes it different is the way the indigo dye has been pre-washed yeah. to achieve that same textured look of denim. Mm. And uh, I think this is really cool because like, you feel like it's like so smooth as well and it yeah. gives, has that slightly faded look. Yeah, what I, do you think? I almost like that, like when I see this like sweat and like, this shirt, it has this like garment dye effect and like it's a bit faded and I, I think it's quite a unique take on like how to incorporate like indigo into your wardrobe. Because mm. normally you think of like Denim trucker jackets or oh, like denim yes. jeans, you know, like a bit more workwear. But like, I think when you fuse indigo into something that is as soft and as cozy as thing as this, I think it's quite an interesting update. You know what? This is actually great for like sweater weather. Like now, when it's like sort of drizzling, right. I feel like I could cozy up in this, and it's like the perfect thing to. I think wear. it's quite cool if you like swap it with like your yellow. I think it makes your yellow like pop <laughs> even more. <laughs> Okay, but Ishan, styling, Ishan. styling tip Ishan, Ishan. one yeah. um, We've also got the um, jacket. Yeah. So these are also um, the stand the stand collar one. This is the light one. I think it's so cool that you have like a white, like almost like a white color like over shirt here that you see. That like yeah. so first I think like it blends quite well with like the navy the, the indigo. Sure. Yeah, right. So comment below and tell us what you like, which item you, you want to see more mm. of, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let us know in the comment section down below. Yeah. Right. And so how would you uh, recommend styling denim on denim? Okay, so. Because this is quite tricky, right? I don't know if like that is something that mm. is intuitive to many people. So, so maybe you can give a tip. Okay, so like when it comes... Okay, so number one, then you wear denim on denim, people call it a Canadian tuxedo. So I'm going to tell you a fun story about a Canadian tuxedo. So Canadian tuxedo got its, its name because like Bing Crosby, this legendary American singer, he tried to enter this upscale Canadian hotel. 
And then he said like, oh no, you rang all their names, so like, it's too casual, you cannot uh. enter. So what he did was, he got a Canadian, a denim tuxedo made for him. And because like the, it was like born in Canada, so like they call it the Canadian tuxedo. Oh. So that's how like... That's how he got the yeah. Canadian tuxedo name, correct, okay. Correct, correct. So like, when it comes to wearing denim wow. on denim, right, or wearing a Canadian tuxedo, okay, the worst way to do it is how Justin Timberlake did it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like, there were too many details going on, too many patchworks. Like, I think like, to keep it quite clean, right, I, will, I mean like, the, you must make sure your fades are kind of correct, like they're of the same shade, you don't want it to be too jarring. I think like it's not good. telling us, but why don't you show them? Oh yeah, I want to show you. Yeah. I think it's even better. Come, right? let's let's take a look at what our okay. mannequins have got over here. So like, okay, as a general rule of thumb, right, when you want to wear denim on denim, you pick something that's a bit of a lighter shade, and then pair it with something darker because like the lighter shade will emphasize that point, like that part of the body, while the darker will like slim it down slightly. So it's about like concealing and enhancing different parts. But that is the general rule of thumb. If you know anything about me. I don't like to play by the rules. <laughs> and instead of like me telling you not to play by the rules, let me show you. You're like, such a rebel, st- Eugene. I, I really like <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see right here, they, they switch it up a bit, right, by going with like a slightly darker shade on top with a nice wash of, lighter wash of jeans. And I think like it's quite, it, it still mm. works pretty well, right? But the thing like when it comes to trying out something like this, I think you actually have to test it out first. So I recommend going down to the store when it launches. And then, like, to actually see whether you fit a lighter top or a darker top. Yeah. So that's my recommendation. Yeah. yeah. So the Uniform Blue lineup is launching in stores next month. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we also have the female look over here. Oh. What do you think of this? I think it's... Uh, in. I, I like the balance of, like, the white top in it. So it's not, like, full-on denim and denim. And I think, like, the jacket really anchors the look together. Right? It's yeah. quite strong. Because, like, then it looks a bit more elevated. Right. I and, am a fan of this. And I love like layering. Like if you, I mean like I, I mean I love layering. I wear, I like, like wearing all my clothes at once. It's like Joey <laughs> from Friends. I like wearing so, all my clothes. So at what once. you had, you can wear like ten layers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean if I go wear ten, if it wasn't Singapore, I would probably be wearing ten layers. <laughs> oh. My okay. friends will know. My friends will know. I I, I know. gotta I gotta see. If yeah. if you've seen Eugene in ten layers, please comment below. Cause um, <laughs> I'll I'll look for you to find his photo. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay, so mm. for those of you who have just joined, make sure you stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Mm. We'll be giving away Uniqlo gift vouchers as well as a brand new outfit in a bit. So yeah. uh, stay tuned. But before we do that, we have another exciting joy mm. uh, to explore. So so tell us uh, what what is that? So I think like for here we have the joy of skyline. It's a bit mm. of a like transitional wear, right? So I think it's a topic that has been on our mind a lot. It's like we've been working from home, but now we can yes. go back to work. So let me ask you. Have you been working from home or...? Yeah, I've actually work? been 50-50 and actually basically going back to the office ah. a fair bit now. So is it hard for you to like leave the comfort of your sweats and your t-shirt to swap it for something a bit more work appropriate? Um, yeah, actually, yes, I, could, I, could, I could use a tip of two. Okay. So let's look at what we have over here. Yep. Um, something that I think is really on trend right now yep. is the uh, oversized vest yep. look. So this is our washable oversized vest. Mm. What we mean when we say washable is that it can be put into the machine yeah. to wash and it doesn't shrink. Mm. So um, it's great because it really maintains that quality of the fabric. Yeah, I think the vest is like quite a trendy piece right now. Like I see like a lot of people on like TikTok, like all the e-boys <laughs> wearing it. And okay, the thing that's amazing, okay, I've always wanted to try a knitted vest but I have never. Because first of all, like metabolism is no longer as good as it was. <laughs> I don't have the guns I used to have. <laughs> you can wear it sleeveless. I was sleeveless then people like, mm, no, 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 no. But, oh. but then again, like, I also like that it's, it's made more accessible because of its machine washability. That means you can throw this into the wash and then you're all good. So it's not something that I would have thought of for my other knits as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, trust me, I have made the mistake of throwing a knitted item into the wash. So I was in Paris. And I threw a knitted item in the wash. Mm-hmm. I came out and then I tried it back on. I was like, oh. How much did I eat in Paris that I gained so much weight that it feels tight right oh now? Oh no! So like, if it was Uniqlo, we wouldn't have this problem. That's oh, what I'm right. Yeah. yeah. So, so there's that. Mm. And um, I think it's great when we start with like a shirt inside. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Or long can... sleeve shirt or even a t-shirt, right? Yeah. You don't have to wear it by itself. Right. I think you like a nice shirt also. Then you put like a suit over. So you know like people like to layer like shirts and like sweaters together. Yeah. But like with a vest, like you don't have to full, feel the full brunt of the heat. Yeah, because mm. it's a bit lighter. Yeah. Right? Mm. So since we're talking about city living, I think yeah. uh, 
you've got this amazing structure set up over here which shows you like all the different ways you can live in the city and mm. this uh, depicts street art that one depicts like a subway train station mm -hmm. so maybe we'll pause over here to talk a little bit about this and uh, mm. let's say hi to our friends who have just joined the live stream hello ah. if you just joined us we're looking at our 2022 Uniqlo spring summer season collection mm. so uh, let's see what we have over right. here let's talk a bit about this mm. so what have we got so he is wearing the extra fine cotton shirt mm. um, with the ultra light jacket mm. um, as well as pants. So I think this is really great for like transitional wear. Yeah. And um, what? Let's let's hear your thoughts okay, about so like, this. Okay, I I personally am a big fan of the Kando line, right? Because I like how light and flexible like a jacket can be. It's almost like wearing like a knitwear in the form of a jacket, which I think it's pretty cool because like you want to look sharp. But at the same time, you want to feel at ease. It's almost like your denim stretch. You know, like the stretch, in, like you have a stretchy denim. Like yeah. Unicorn. I think like that to me is a revelation because like all the comfort in the world without losing any style. Exactly. To me, that is the pinnacle of dressing. At least for this like, guys right now. Yeah. Because you always want to feel comfortable. That is so true. Yeah, 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 yeah. And do you think there's something that you could also wear for like beach weddings? Okay. Or something that's like, you know... You need to look a bit more formal, but you're in like a warmer setting. I, okay, I would say beach wedding could be plausible because it's unlined, right? You can see right here, there's no lining in there, so I think that's pretty good. But honestly, if like if I was going to go for a beach wedding, right, I'm going to be wearing linen. Ooh, like, okay. Right, you know that you know that scene in Singers Inferno when this guy like <laughs> walked oh, out. Oh, and then he was wearing the pink, yeah, and he's he like, "Oh my the, god, you look good in pink." Yeah, and Singles was, Inferno reference. Right, right, and the guy was uh, suit. Please send us hearts if you get that reference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I think like, if you tell me about a beach kind of wedding kind of vibe, linen is definitely the way to go. Mm. Yeah. All right. And shall we look at a set, a set for the women's also? Yeah. So over here, oh, I feel like I've stepped into like a New York subway station. Shall I take a seat over here with my friend? <laughs> <laughs> so what is she wearing? Okay, I think she's wearing the UV protection cardigan, right? With like a skirt. Yeah, nice. the volume tuck skirt as yeah. well as a cotton ripped uh, crop t-shirt. Mm. So this is actually a new color for us. This is great for Chinese New Year guys because yeah. uh, we have it in uh, red for the first time. And also, yeah, the UV protection cardigan, I tell you, yeah. this is like a lifesaver for people like Trump. me who don't like to put on sunscreen. Okay, you want to talk about transitional wear. I actually bought something like this for my wife, right? Because like, she was complaining to me like when she dries, she worried about the sun will make her hands more tan as compared to everywhere else. So what I did was like I bought her this so that she could wear it while she's driving and then like you know when she goes to like the mall and she feels a bit cold and she can put it on. So transitional wear is best guys, right? Yeah. Nailed it, Eugene. Right. And oh, they also have a vest for women. Ooh. Right. Yeah, I feel like this is like a great men and women's item. Like it's it's very genderless, yeah. which is what what is great about it. Yeah. And this is paired with our new uh three quarter sleeve uh oversized shirt oh. as well. Something that you would probably wear with jeans, pants? Oh. What do you reckon? Can I wear this with a skirt? I think you can, but like, I think what could be quite cute, right? If you like, wear it like jeans and then you roll it up. It's a bit like, Ooh. then you wear it with like a, a boa's hat. Ah, so it's a bit like the post boy kind of bag. I am learning lots, <laughs> learning lots. Okay, so shall mm. we move over here mm. then? Mm. So that is the collection for our core lineup. Yeah. Um, that was our core uh, collection for the spring summer yeah. season collection. Mm. I think we've come to our second giveaway. Are, are we gonna get like a mail letters? <laughs> are you gonna mail us letters and get like answers? Okay, so for the second giveaway, it's very important that you mail us your answers, and then we and then will open just like this a, box. Yeah. Okay. Oh, like okay. all jokes. <laughs> All jokes aside, all jokes aside. Okay, so what is the question that you have? So the question mm. is, and this is related to something that we talked about earlier. So if you're with us on the live stream, um, stay with us and you will know the answer. Mm. Very straightforward. Okay. Um, uniform blue yeah. is made for males, mm. females, or is it gender mm. neutral? Oh, okay. Sounds... So you have three options. Yeah. You just need to answer in the comments down below. Tell us, is it for men, Male. women, or gender, gender neutral. neutral? Okay, so wait, just to say it again. Male, female... Gender neutral. Correct. Correct? Three options. Three options. Our okay. uniform blue collection. You okay, have okay. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Comment down below. Let's see. Let's, Let's see. see. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, I think I see a couple of okay. right answers already. You Before guys are quick. We dive into the correct answer. I have a question for you. Okay, what? Okay, so how do you tell if a piece of garment is male or female? Oh, mm. um, intuitively I look at the size. Mm. If I feel like it's a, it's a bigger fit, because you know men have like broader shoulders, yeah. right? So I feel like I would think, okay, that's a male piece. That okay, is, is that a right or wrong answer? Okay, I feel like okay. you have a right answer <laughs> okay, in mind. So what answer is? <laughs> Do okay. I get a prize? You will get <laughs> a prize that I will mail you here. You come, <laughs> back, you come back in a few weeks and then you find out, okay? You come back in a few weeks. <laughs> okay, so the correct answer is women's buttons are always on their left. Well, men's buttons Men. are always on your right. Because traditionally, women no are dressed by people. Like their servants. Do you guys know that? Am I the only one who's like learning something new today? So, so, okay, so most of us are right-handers, right? So like when I'm, let's say I'm dressing you because I'm your servant, right? Just... <laughs> well, else men usually dress themselves. So their button's always on the right. So you see right here? Okay. Uh... And I think, I think we've talked enough and the time is up. So okay, um, okay. yeah, let's, let's look at the uh, answers that we have so far. Yeah, yeah wow. I, yeah, I didn't know that either. Mm. See? People don't know that. I'm not the only one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So a lot of you have gotten the right answer. Our community manager will be bringing three lucky winners to walk away with twenty dollars Uniqlo gift voucher. So Eugene, reveal the answer. Okay, the answer Uniform is, blue is for gender. It's gender neutral. It's, yeah, it's gender neutral. Do you get so right? congrats, congrats Ooh. to you guys who have won. Okay, um, let's announce the winners for our very first giveaway. It's James Tia. At right. James there, congratulations! James, yeah. You've won a $20 Uniqlo voucher. Right. Drop us a DM to claim your prize. Okay, the second one is an uh, interesting spelling. Should I spell it out? Yes, <laughs> yeah, we read it out. Okay, it's at E N S L G A L. Congrats! Congrats! Comment down below if you're still here with us. Uh, you've won a $20 Uniqlo voucher as well. Drop us a DM. And please DM me how to pronounce that. The, the name, the the, the yeah. name, or, or what it stands. Yeah, for. what it stands for, because that's uh, yeah, that sounds cool. <laughs> All right, so I think we covered like the four core pillars of the Uniqlo Spring Summer twenty twenty two collection. Yeah. I'm very excited about the next one, the next thing we're going to talk about. Oh, yeah, so this next mm. one is a highly anticipated collection and I think it's something that you like. Oh yes, I, it's my personal bias. Like, mm. it's my favourite Uniqlo collaboration of all time. Of all time. Of no, all matter, time. no matter what season. Okay, guess. Take guess, a guess what guess. it is. I mean, okay. Okay. It's Uniqlo U! Our Uniqlo U collection is launching on 4th Feb, guys. Yeah. This is very exciting. Um, you guys are like the first ones to see this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before it lands in store. So, yeah, let's talk a little bit about this. Yeah. So, this lineup um, is designed by our artistic director, Christophe Lemaire, and yeah. his R&D team in Paris. Yeah. It is the pinnacle of all the research that has gone into it to put in all the innovative fabrications mm. of like the collection that you see here today. Yeah. I always think of Uniqlo as more as a, fa as a tech company than a fashion company because like you guys have invented so many amazing things like you got your heat tech, you got Arism, you got your block tech, you got your dry X, you got your 3D, you got your 3D. Am tech. I the product genius or are you the product okay. genius okay. now? I am the Uniqlo <laughs> U genius. <laughs> Unofficial title. Alright, I know that's how you okay. But like, to me like, it's amazing that you take all this amazing tech and through Christophe's Le Maire amazing vision, you fuse both form and function together as one, right? So like, and I can really tell that you love it because you're wearing a full Uniqlo U get up. So yeah. tell us what you're wearing. Okay, so I'm wearing the relaxed tailored jacket, right, with the white fit tapered trousers. Okay, let me tell you like the amount of details that goes into the consideration when it comes to Uniqlo U. Look at this pocket right here. It's cut diagonally. So it makes reaching in for things a lot easier. So it's just like, you want to give so up So what are you reaching out? Because <laughs> <laughs> Chinese New Year is Chinese, around the yeah, corner, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Good tip, good tip. And I really like this like white fit tapered pants, right? Because to me, right, a white fit tapered pants, right, especially this one, is made for like guys of all sizes. So let's say someone like me is a big on the bigger side, right? It, it fits my thighs quite nicely, but it slims down. So it gives me like slightly more of a straight leg silhouette. Yeah. Right. But else, like, if let's say I was a guy that's a bit more skinny and I skip leg day, <laughs> <laughs> like, you're feeling lazy. Yeah, I'm feeling lazy. So what I do is like, you pick a size slightly larger, you belt it so that it has a bit more volume down, and you can taper it down, and then you roll it up. So I think like it really fits any size that you yeah. that you are, and it like like I say, styling is an illusion. 
play with the different sizes yes. and you can find something that fits. And also oversized silhouette is a trend, right? It really so is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is something that you'll see a lot of that relaxed mm. fits in this uh, Uniqlo U lineup. Mm. And um, what I'm wearing over here, for those of you who have asked uh, what I'm wearing, I'm wearing the cotton belted dress yeah. as well as the Uniqlo U full needle long sleeve cardigan. Mm. So this is coming to you 4th February, mark that date, start wish listing the items that you want. Mm. Um, you'll get to see it really soon. Yeah. Uh, let's Dying also give them a look at like what else they can mm. expect, you know. Let's talk a bit about the colours that you see over so here. So like at Uniqlo, you, they always like experiment a lot of different shades of colours. It's not mm. exact, so like even your purples is slightly off. Like it's a different, like more beautiful like over shade. Here. Like let me show you. Like, so over here, you got your hooded blues on. Yes. Right? Oversized blues on. So it's like, it's I love like, the purple of this. It's sort of like a, a very like peri lilac-y. Lilac yeah. yeah. And then I like, I like the vents at the back also. Like it's very cool detailing. Right? And then you can yeah. hide the hood over here. Right. It's all hidden in the zips. Can you see it, guys? No, I love that. Yeah, so if, you know, you're wearing this out in rainy, you just pull it on and like, you're good, man. Good to go, good, good to, to go. go. Another highlight for me, okay, wait, okay. Yeah. Am I stealing your job if I talk too much about this? Yeah, let's talk about what okay, I yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. How, how, let's okay, talk wait, about wait. what I like. Okay, what did you show us what you like? Um, what show us what you like? I think right. one of my uh, highlight pieces is this mm. gathered sleeveless blouse. Yeah. I just love the detail here. So it looks like it's padded, mm. but it's not. Yeah. I like that. You see like when they fold it in, and then they do like a, like a sole right here. I think it, it, it's, it like spools up a bit, like ruches up a bit, like, and it gives the illusion, uh, which I think... I mean, I think I'm going to buy the larger it's size really like <laughs> and hopefully it fits. I'm going to see you in this. <laughs> you might see me in this. You might see me in this. Right? I, 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 have a, I have a better one for you. Can I see you in this? Oh. <laughs> this is also the gathered design but on a dress version. Can okay, I see you in this? I can tell you, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. I'm button this, right? Wear with like a nice baker trousers which I'll show you guys later. And then like a nice black jacket over. I think that I think it's pretty big. I think it's pretty beautiful. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, if you guys like it, uh, let us know in the comment section down below. This yeah. is the Uniqlo U collection mm. coming to you uh, really soon on 4th Feb. Hey, I know we're a bit short on time, but I want to show you the kids line as well. Right? Yes. So like besides like, so just now we saw like the adult version. Then you can have your own mini me. It's twinning, right? Besides that, we also have it in like the striped shirt form, right? Yeah. So our kids collection is back again by yep. popular demand mm. and um, this is something that you can really wear like the same pieces for adults and twin with your kids and uh, it's great for like family twinning styles. Ah, family twinning. Like great idea for CNY styling. Right? Mm, which we'll share a bit more in just a little bit. Yeah. But uh, why don't we I'll show them one last item before we move on. Let's right. talk about the baker pants. The baker trousers. Where are the, my baker <laughs> trousers? Uh, yup, it's Liz says my red packet money is going to Uniqlo U. <laughs> That's right. Uh, baker, baker trousers right here. All right. We hear you, Jessica Rovira says, so cute. I agree with you, Jessica. That is spot on. Yeah. All right, so you see this baker trousers right here, which is like new for the collection. So I like that it has like pleats here, which gives it like a nice slimming silhouette, right? So like if you if you know anything about me, I need a slimming silhouette, lah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I think it's also cool that like you have like adjustable tabs, so you can like change the size on the fly. So you know, like when you before you go out with your friends, you tap it to the max. Then after a big meal, then you loosen it up a bit, lah. Mm. Mm, good, ah. That's a good idea. That's, That's a, a good really idea. good idea. Yeah. Nice. I think I want to wear. And we have this for men's and women's as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're getting a lot of questions on that bag oh. behind you. Let's let's talk a bit about the bag before we move on since people are asking for it. Okay, we're going to show it to you guys. Right. Come. This is what you wanted to see. This is what you came the for. The new uh, drawstring sling bag that we have. Yep. And this comes in three colours. So this is the one in green. We also have it in yellow and black. I think you're pulling it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, okay, and it's yeah, let's show them really, more the like, yeah. uh, it can, do you think this could fit in the laptop? I think definitely it will fit in the laptop. Probably can fit all my gym clothes as well. Not that I go to the gym, but like, it will fit all my gym clothes. <laughs> my imaginary gym clothes, right? But I think like... Linda Oliver says, wow, I love the bag. Yes. Yes. Get yes. Um, Fourth February. You're asking how, how much is it? It is forty nine ninety. 
$49.90 you can get it. Start wishlisting it on the Uniqlo app and you can get it when it launches. Mm. So come to the important part. When is it launching? 4th February. 4th Feb, guys. Save the date. You can get it at our Orchard Central Global flagship store, mm. uh, Ion Orchard, as well as online at uniqlo.com. Okay, I do feel that I'm a bit bummed that I cannot buy this in time for New Year. Oh, yeah. okay, but that's okay because we're going to talk a bit about how you can style for Chinese New Year ah. using our car collection. Okay, so okay. what's your favourite thing to do during Chinese New Year, Eugene? Okay, definitely my favourite thing to do with Chinese New Year is to collect Ang Pao's. <laughs> because like, after I collect Ang Pao's, I'm going to buy those UU products. <laughs> Okay, okay, fuck that. I, I see you at the store along with the, the queue with the rest of our people okay. outside the store, okay? Oh, 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 hello! We have Winnie and family over here! Happy oh. New Year! Sing Lian Kuai Le, Chu Ni, Fu Fu Kao Sheng, and a prosperous <laughs> Chinese New Year. This is absolutely adorable. So, we're moving into the Chinese New Year styling segment over here to show you guys how you can style your Chinese New Year outfits. Mm. And we have here a family styling look. Uh, Eugene. Okay, so I think it's on a. Okay, this look I think is be perfect for the first day of CNY because you want something that's a bit more dressed up and formal, but not something that is too stiff that you cannot fend off questions from nosy aunties. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so like, okay, I first up, let's introduce this. like the father and son duo, right? So I think when it comes to CNY styling, right, the, the number one thing people ask for is like, oh, how do I wear red? How do I wear red? Right? But the thing to me is like, when it comes to CNY, it's about collecting ampals, guys. It's not about like looking, looking like, like <laughs> you don't want to look like one, right? So what we have done here is like we took like an, still an auspicious color like orange. Like you can see in like the polo tee and the over like polo tee here. The over shirt jacket. Yeah. And uh, so the son is wearing the kids here soccer shirt yep. along with the Baker Jogger pants and yep. also a uh, Arizona tee inside. So I think the colour pairing is really on point right now. It's not so like full on yeah, in your yeah. face. So like, I think like you know after you make your first impression already, you look you wanna stay a bit cool, you just take off the jacket. Then I think oh. you're ready for feasting. Already. Yes. Right? Then when you visit again then you, like this is to make your first impression, this is your armor. Then yeah. after you're done, then you can take off and actually take care of kids and be functional. So I think that's pretty yeah. really cool. Next up, we have the mother and daughter. And then we also have the mother and daughter. Oh my god, you know how we're talking about like joy of clothing, yeah, right? Yeah. And this really like really brings out the joy for me. Like, I feel like right in the festive mood, just looking at I mean, me and the daughter. Like, you're all matching yellow, like, right? Oh, can I be part of the? <laughs> and we'll ask whether they want to adopt you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So, let's talk about what she's wearing then. Yeah, I think it's really cool that they have like a yellow colour scheme going on. So, yellow is kind of still an auspicious colour without going to the red territory again. So, you have like a yellow gingham dress that is matching with like the mother's like linen. Yes, the linen, linen sleeveless blouse. top uh, as well as paired with the volume tuck skirt and a cropped denim jacket. Yeah. So what a great way to style for the first day of Chinese New Year. Yeah. Also, it's great to have a daughter so you can dress a mini me. <laughs> right? I love to dress up together. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. Thank, so thank you. you so much. This was a great family party. Thank you, Winnie and family. Yeah. Happy New Year. Alright, next up. So that's a cool have... twinning style. Yeah, what do we have next? Okay, next up, like for day two, it's the time to introduce the boyfriend. Oh, yeah, oh when you so get the, the, the question, like, oh, yeah. uh, girl, uh, you know, yeah. I'm for your love. <laughs> that kind of okay, question. Th this year, you can finally say, war yo liao. Right? <laughs> so I think the thing about being a couple is like, you want to make a first good impression, you want to. A bit of twinning. Okay, okay let's so let's bring in Carissa and Chad, ah. who will show us a couple. Of, oh my god, I love this get up. Okay, so like this is like a fun take on like twinning, right? So, of course, ladies first. So you let ladies decide. So, what we have done is we pick like purple, which is like uh, like a shade of red, but it's not full on red red. And then like so, we have this dress right here that's purple. It's light and easy to wear. You wear it with like a nice denim jacket, and then it's reflected in the guy. Who is wearing like a purple shirt with like um, like a denim pair of jeans? But yeah. you don't look. I think without the jacket, you look a bit too on the nose. So the brown breaks it up a bit. It's still like kind of in the same color family. Like they complement each other really well. But yes. so you look sharp. Then this one, confirm can bring home see your parents one. <laughs> one. Plus, like, after you wear this, extra extra good, right? Am I right? And can bring home see your, see your parents? <laughs> of course. Okay. <laughs> They look okay, so but, cute. But, I love it. Thank right. you so much, Thank Carissa you. and Chad. Looking very good. Okay, last. Okay, so okay. I think something else. What do you do on Chinese New Day 3 typically? I think day 3 is the time where you really spend with your friends because the first two days is about meeting your oh. family, oh. doing all the things that you need. Now they have a bit of a break. Yeah. You want to spend some time with your friends. Yeah. Right? To play a bit of games. Yeah. Like feast together. 
it's a bit more casual. Okay. Yeah, so like, you don't need to go like the formal, because you're like, you're, you're your friends, you don't impress them. If you do, then they're not your friends. Yeah, but you want to look cute still, right? True, so true, let's true, true. bring in our happy three friends we have, <laughs> and Sean and Hi. Charmaine. Oh my god, I feel so much. Hey guys! Oh, there oh my god, I love this! Like, <laughs> look, how cute! Alright, so... Obviously, there's a team going on, right? Mm. Right. So Let's talk about the colors. Right. So like, I think they went with like an olive theme, which is like quite nice and earthy. So like for her, she's wearing like a camisole, like one piece jumpsuit, with mm. like a rip top. Yeah. Right. So I think a jumpsuit is amazing because like you don't have to think about what top should I mattress with. Like, uh, it makes it cuts down your decision because you're all about relaxing. You're all done from your feasting. Fending off questions from like, you know, like, hey, when are you going to get married? Right? <laughs> and you're done with that already, right? So you know, it's a mental break. Right? So with your mental break, you got this like nice piece of jumpsuit. You wear it, you still look good, right? Then, and next up, we have the... The uh, Charmaine, Charmaine, who is wearing the linen open collar shirt yep. with a uh, cotton relaxed bra camisole inside. And she's paired that with white straight jeans. Oh. So again, a subtle touch of the colour, mm. which really brings out um, that overall... I like her power pose also. Yeah, I, I am I loving this. <laughs> hey guys, this is what you call squat goals, okay? Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> it really is. Okay, but like... I mean, after we talk about the roses, we also want to talk about our different roles of our different <laughs> <roles. laughs> Sean. So we have Sean in like a linen like cam collar shirt, mm -hmm. right? Like matched with like an Arizon crew neck oversized t-shirt. Inside, yeah. and also he's paired it with stretch slim fit shorts. Yeah. So very, very nice to play like so all those things. stretch and slim fit shorts. It sounds like it's perfect for your favourite Chinese New Year game, Twister, right? So very unconventional, but yeah. I do play Twister during Chinese New Year sometimes, apart from usual like Ban Lak and Mahjong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, all this is great for like, uh, if you like lounging around and yeah. just sit around, something casual, something more comfortable, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then after you've done all that feasting, you can just sit around with your friends and play some games. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you guys, strike, strike a pose for your squat goal yeah, before we go, come! Yeah, let's see how you are, what are we going to do? Right. <laughs> I feel so out of place. Thank you so Thank much! You so Happy New Year! It's been a pleasure! Alright! All right. So like... Are we at the moment? Oh wait, we still got one more grand giveaway. Am oh I right? yeah! Mm. So you guys are still with us, right? We are about to do our grand prize giveaway and this one is really, really exciting. Am I your friend? Because... <laughs> <laughs> you are my friend, you are my friend, unless you are asking Sal. And <laughs> ELNTX, yes, hi, thanks for joining us. Um, so, mm. we're, talk we're talking about our last giveaway, and this one yep. is fun for me. Because I um, get to watch you uh, suffer a bit, do a small challenge. Okay, but okay. You guys get to play a part. Okay, in okay, this, okay. So, in tell me more about this game that we're going to play. So, what's going to happen huh? is. <laughs> we're going to make it do this. Okay. okay. I have this bowl okay. of words over here okay. and they're filled with like different papers with different words inside. They each contain one word. It could be a colour, a theme, a mm. type of fabric, mm. anything. Um, what's going to happen is Eugene is going to pick Randomly, one of these yeah. at random okay. and he's going to have to style an outfit based on this one word. Oh. And then we'll let you guys guess what that word is. Oh. So the grand prize winner will walk away with a new CNY outfit as well as our snack tray, limited edition snack tray. But so, so let's fire get styling. to the yes, okay. rapid fire styling. Can you do it? Okay, yeah. We're putting you to the test. Um, come close your eyes and pick. Okay, okay. So you cannot know, right? Okay, like you want me to guess? Is yeah. it okay, like, can, I guess. You also I guess, guess with them, uh? I guess, uh, I hope you get a hard one. <laughs> okay. I hope you yeah, get no hard ones. I'm good. I'm good at this. I'm, yeah, no hard ones. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You got it? Okay, 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 okay. You know the brief? Yeah, yeah, I know the brief. Maybe it's a bit hard. Alright. So okay, guys, this is the fun part. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's, see, let's see what Eugene comes up with. Okay, okay. we have a rack of items over here. Mm. And then, gonna give him a couple of minutes to go and pick out the outfit. This is like Master Chef style. You know, you walk into the kitchen, you have to like quickly, quickly pick what you want to put together in this outfit. What do you think he's gonna do? I think the only difference is I don't have to fight you can for I, it. Can uh. I? Master <laughs> Chef style, right? <laughs> okay. You're uh, gonna make a guess from what you're guessing, from what you're picking out I'm on the rack. I'm gonna pick out a few <laughs> items so that... Yeah, but are you, are you styling a man or a woman? I can't even... I, this could be quite genderless actually. So like, if you know anything about me, or all if you know anything about stylists, we love our options. 
So I got as many options as I can. <laughs> got a skirt also. So <laughs> I'll be right back. Like Fel's got you. Okay, okay. So while Eugene's gone to style his model, let's talk a bit about the prize that you're going to win. So if you're still with us, um, so the grand prize is going to be a brand new Chinese New Year outfit. We're going to personally select it for you. Uh, so you can wear that for your Chinese New Year. And also, we have a limited edition Uniqlo snack tray. That's this gorgeous brown wooden one that you see over here. So this is perfect for displaying on your living room table at home. When you welcome guests, you can put like Mandarin oranges, you can even put small tidbits, your Chinese New Year goodies. You know, I love my Chinese New Year snacks. Uh, so you can put all those like nuts and small bite-sized crackers and things. Yeah, so this is what you get. Um, but if you don't win a grand prize giveaway, there's also another way you can get this, which is by spending $88 uh, at our Uniqlo stores or online from now till 30th January while stocks last. So this is something that you can look out for as long as you shop and spend $88 and you're a Uniqlo app member, you get to walk away with this gorgeous new limited edition snack tree. It'll be like the great addition to your home. And also, oh yeah, not to mention you also get a pack of red packets. And uh, one pack comes in eight, eight of these. So very, very hot. So let's take a look at this. This is Celebrate New Styles of Togetherness. So yeah, that's what you can get with this. So let's see, is, is Eugene still picking out what he's going to wear? He's still... Hmm. Okay, so while you're with us, how about we talk about some of the highlights that we saw today. So we're talking about the joy of clothing, right? Is there anything else that you guys want to see? This is your time to comment down below and let us know, you know, what, what else you want to see. Miss Sherry says, wow, I like this good for a new house. Yes. Okay, you know what you got to do? Pick the correct answer and then hope that you win the grand prize giveaway. I wish you lots of good luck and what? At YWNCH says the snack tray got the ceramic bowls. That's part of it. Very chill. Yep, that's right. At Glenda Olivia actually says that he, she wants to see more denim. Um, we'll, we'll, show, we'll show you that in a bit, but actually, I think, Eugene, are you done? You're taking pretty long. <laughs> <laughs> you, you cannot you? watch perfection, my dear. You okay, okay, uh, okay. So okay. I, I think he's done. All, All right, right so coming over. Welcome. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. You're making me wonder what this is, inshallah, shall I take this? Okay, okay, so now is your chance to guess, right? Mm. Um, previously, I said the grand prize winner would pick one lucky winner. Uh, if you get the one word right, yeah. based on what Eugene has styled, based off. Okay, why don't you ask me um, some questions and I'll tell you if you're getting closer. Okay, okay. Um, is, is the word related to like a type of fabric? No. No, okay, mm. cold. Uh, cold. Oh, so cool. Um, is it? Oh, Is it? Oh, is it related to the to the weather? Mm, no. <laughs> Still cold. Okay. Yeah. Is it? Is it related to what we've seen today? The sub themes that we've looked at. The joy of imagination. Joy uh, of a little imagination. bit, little bit, but not really. Okay, okay. Yeah. Get, get, getting a bit warmer. Um, a bit warmer. Uh, a bit is, warmer. It, is it? Is it related to color? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, getting warmer. Getting warmer. Okay, guys, guess a color. We are getting very, very close. Uh, what what color? Is, what the color is this? Is this like? Maybe I should um, give it some more light. Like, I really like this outfit. Is it like uh, light, dark, or a specific color that we're looking for? I think for? we're just looking at one shade of color. Right? I one mean, like, shade obvious. of color. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um, should be quite um, obvious, lah. I I think lah, but I'm stopping this. I would I I would say well, green. Uh, or, uh, or olive green? Yes. Olive, olive green? green? I see. Okay, I'm, I'm like speaking for the people on the live. Oh, you are commenting. <laughs> is it olive green? Is that the answer? Yes. Yes. yes? Oh yes. my god. Okay. Okay, okay. Congrats, you guys who have gotten it right. Oh wow. Okay, a lot of people have gotten it right. Oh. Congratulations. All right. All right, this so is a very nice. Yeah, let's, let's talk a bit about this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want the work of art, not the piece. <laughs> <laughs> so so what is he wearing? So he's wearing a cardigan from like the UU collection. 
with the Baker pants that we're talking about. So oh, that's the Baker pants about the women's love. version. So over here, you see like the massive white pockets. I think it definitely draws inspiration from workwear. And you got like nice little details here. I mean, probably they used to put hammers here, but if you, you probably wouldn't be. Uh, <laughs> maybe put a pen. The right down girl's number or guys, uh, whichever fits your fancy, right? <laughs> okay. Definitely a very comfortable look, right? And I like the color blocking of it. Like, I like it when it's a bit monochrome. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Chad. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us today. Right. Okay, so uh, we're gonna let our community managers pick the grand prize winner, and mm. then you're gonna pin it in the comment section down below. Yeah. And then uh, all you gotta do is just reach out via DM to let us know has the winner been picked. Ooh. Oh. 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 We got oh, something oh, happening. Oh, something happening. Oh, something happening. I see. Oh. oh. Okay. okay. We have a grand prize winner, guys. Right. Let's Sh reveal it. Should I read it? Okay. Congratulations Sh to drum roll. I at I F I. F I E S E E underscore Cock. Is it Fizzy Cock? Fizzy Cock? Congratulations to F I E S E E. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. Underscore Cock. Oh, no, you still win the CNY outfit. I'm so sorry. Congratulations. You win a brand new CNY outfit in the CNY snack tree. Oh, yeah. Maybe she can invite you over to her place or he. Then you can eat from the snack tree. Where, where, where is my snack tree? Where, where is my price? Is this, is this what? Is where is your price? But you don't guess correctly what the wind, the, the, the people did not. You, I guess, I guess Olive Green. You were so, you took so many chance to go there. You, you what you guess, you guess is like, is it a, is it a weather? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. So congrats, congrats Yay. to you. Um, we we are very excited to be giving you mm. a brand new Uniqlo outfit for your Chinese New Year as well as our limited edition snack tray. Yeah. So you can display that at home. Yeah. So I think we are coming towards the end of our live stream. Yeah, that's all we have for our activities today actually. Yeah. So we've covered the joy of clothing and all mm. different sub themes. Yeah. Um, what would you say is your highlight? My of, highlight? Okay, I think... The, Okay, I don't want to say you, you, because like I've been talking about Uniqlo you forever. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows me, I talk about Uniqlo you forever. But I really thought the Indigo collection was pretty amazing. Like the way like you guys incorporate Indigo in more than just the denim jeans. It's, it's more than just salvage jeans yeah. or raw jeans or like jackets and stuff like that. I really love the way you guys use it in like your more softer knits, like your sweaters and your cardigans and your t-shirts. So to me, like that's definitely a highlight. I'm actually eyeing the cardigan. The cardigan, the, the, the indigo one the that indigo we just showed earlier on. Yeah, the one, the Walkman blue one. Yeah. So yeah. what about, do you have an outfit that you like from this? An outfit? Yeah. Um, I think my favourite is from the linen collection. Mm. So I am eyeing the linen sleeveless blouse oh. as well as the dress. I think that would look pretty nice. Yeah. Because like, you know you can I'm wear it. I'm a fan of like flowy, breezy fabrics. Uh, I mean, that kind of match your character, which I think is yeah. great because you always style to reflect who you are. Yes. And, uh, very, very natural. Any questions from the audience, though? Any questions? Pink me, pink me. How about, oh, how about the second giveaway winner? Did we announce that already? Second giveaway winners, uh, we've, we, we've announced that already. I think okay. they've pinned it in the comment section down below. Okay, so okay, cool. keep a lookout for that and then um, yeah, DM us to collect <laughs> your prize. Alright. Wait. So, yeah, so looking at all, all that we have today. Oh. Um, so is there... Is there one particular outfit uh, that you want to take away with you today, if you could? If I know. could, uh, hmm. is it all free? The whole price tag, right? I don't know. Like, I, I can I'm, just take and go, right? Uh, you sure, hey, right? I, 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 you didn't see it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's it. Oh, okay. These are your trend reporters signing out. I'm Fel. Oh, Eugene, thank you. No. <laughs> thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Oh, See bye. you. Good night. Thanks for joining us. Bye.